All right, my name is Gunther Voss, and this is my confessional on the documentary Killing Us Softly 4 by Jean Kilborn. Uh, what I think her main message to her audience in this video is, is uh, that the ideal image of women in ads today affect young girls negatively. Um, she starts out by saying that ads create an environment uh, which she calls a toxic cultural environment. Uh, which is an environment that surrounds us with unhealthy images, which sacrifices our health and well-being for the sake of profit. So, basically, the pretty girls that we're seeing in billboards and magazines to sell a product, even on commercials, um, are not real. They're all artificial, uh, constructed. Uh, you can tell by... The faces of these women don't have any lines or wrinkles or scars or blemishes because they're produced through airbrush and cosmetics, uh, Photoshop. And we may be seeing four to five different parts of different women uh, brought together to create one perfect image. And even though these are fake images, girls, young girls are still looking up to this model type and encouraged to be more like them. Uh, for example, like famous pop stars uh, can have a negative effect on young girls by forming eating disorders because like Lady Gaga quoted that it's all about starvation, pop stars don't eat. That's what she said. And then right after that, Kate Moss said, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. So these are just grown women acting like children which just encourages young women to do the same for the fear of aging. Um, some advertisements show like girls covering their mouth or like just showing off their female body parts like their breasts and not talking, which is an encouragement for them to be silent. And uh, also she talks about how sex is most trivializing in advertising, which basically means sex sells. Uh, she says that there's more pornographic today than ever before, which encourage young girls to send nudes to their boyfriends, wear G-strings. Uh, when they see girls like Miley Cyrus pole dancing on stage, all that encourages is stripper and porn imagery to young girls. Because, I mean, she used to be a, a great young, like, pop star, and she totally changed. And... Uh, these are just a whole bunch of examples of young girls that are seeing these role models that are negatively affecting their self-esteem because they're sacrificing stuff that they shouldn't be at an early age to look prettier. Um, but anyways, yeah, um, I think she also talks about how there's really no, it's, there's not as bad of consequences for men in this field of advertising because they're encouraged to be tough and insensitive while women are more portrayed in advertising to be less vulnerable and kind of innocent image, you know. She, she says that the American image of ideal beauty and modeling commercials is young, thin, white, and usually blonde or blue-eyed. So that's the main image that girls are trying to become today.